it's time to add a little distressing. So the, the customer's vision for these uh, heads is that he wants them to look like we sawed them off the end of some tanks that are 100 years old. And of course, uh, you know, something that's 100 years old isn't going to be all this beautiful and smooth. Um, so we're going to add a bunch of dings and wormholes and stuff to it. And I like to do this um, after Bill is, uh, you know, when he's not in the room because he, he starts to tear his hair out when he sees us do this. Um, so we, we have a couple of little war clubs that we've made for this purpose. This one here um, is a wormhole maker. These are little round, um, ground round nail uh, points that we hammer in various places randomly to uh, look like worms have been chewing away at the uh, oak. And this is for putting some serious dings and dents in. And uh, then when we're done with that process, we'll, we'll move some glaze around into these holes. And, uh, and the look is amazingly authentic. Some wormholes. Now we need a few cracks in the uh, in the barrel head because a 200-year-old piece of oak like this wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be crack-free. And the places that cracks are most likely to show up. You know, in a real old barrel head would be along the lines of where the uh, the head staves are are butt jointed together. So we're gonna use a straight edge and a uh, putting knife here to um, to make some cracks, draw some cracks in, basically right along the the seams of these head staves. Okay, so we're putting the final touches on, actually pushing some of this dark glaze into these cracks and dings to uh, give it a nice um, aged patina.